I met Ned in sixth grade, and then we made a band, and now I'm 20, and we're in the same band. And after eight years, we're releasing our first full length. <laughs> <laughs> studio 4, pretty legendary studio. Got to work with an engineer by the name do of Will Yip. This is what Corona needs to do. Do you use a fucking sweet ride on at the top right? Because mm -hmm. that would crash really well. Yeah, yeah crash on that and then get it. It's like the ice cream man, but I like the fighters <laughs> you know, it's like kind of speed Yes, yes. What you got? I don't know which one I got. Focus. Focus. Let's go with one. What was other new beats? Vibe and water. Around here somewhere. Um, sound wise. Um, different from our last records, we, we, we tracked it all live, which, uh, we all record together, me, two guitars and the bass, and we all, uh, we kept almost, well, we kept all the drum tracks and the bass tracks together, overdubbed a few of the guitar tracks, just keep that live, uh, like raw feel to it, so that's pretty different, sonically, from the past. Inside I was studio? gonna say we tracked it live and shit, and then you just... Does anybody really care? No. How many breakdowns are on the new record? Tracking everything live was actually a lot easier than I think everyone expected it to be. Because, you know, you, if someone makes a mistake, then you kind of just have to do it again. But it just it kind of felt right. It just, you know, because that's how we've always practiced, is the four of us playing together. So it just, uh, it seemed like it, it flowed really well together. I we'll play a little bit faster this time. Just the one upbeat, rather than the ta ta ta. Do you know what you follow? I'm judging that, man. <laughs> Here at 902. After we get back from yeah. People cheer the 902. Yeah. They have to get back. It's not those things. Those need to get a little tighter. Yeah. And it be a little, little harder too, heavier. The the, the rolls. rolls. Yeah. You know what I mean? How's the tone? Real tony. Thank you. 
think you're going to see me. But I was just like, I smoked my water terribly. That! I'm ready! Uh. Uh. We all know that uh, Walter Schreifels of Gorilla Biscuits and Youth of Today produced the record. Um, what was it like working with him? I mean, I, I think I speak for everybody in Title Fight when I say it. I think every band that Walter has ever been in has been a major influence on Title Fight. The opportunity to work with him was, you know, crazy. I never thought we'd have anything like that. So kind of, I had I had these kind of preconceived notions in my head that he was going to be, you know, this or that or anything, but he just turned out to be a normal guy who liked music and that was cool. He was fun to work with. He was fun to talk to. He was, you know, he wasn't afraid to talk about old stories. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't like, oh, like, that's whatever. You know, he like he was just cool about everything. He was a... Uh, and he had a lot of cool ideas too, which, you know, helped us out a lot. Yo, what about a compass? How the fuck does that shit work? I'm looking at the compass like a motherfucking jerk. I think it's magnets at the North Pole. Motherfucking thing leads the thing to the soul and the compass works. That's a mystery. Got my mother fan fucking Jala Violent Mix next to me. Violent Mix, that's his nickname. <laughs> Juggalo. Will, what are you doing? What's up, buddy? I'm tuning up your snare drum. Sounds good. Better sound good. Should make sound nice and crispy. Yeah, let's hear it. How you guys are feeling, but um, I think it's cool. Um, we're up to just start recording them. If you're, if you're starting to feel it, maybe get a good one. Yeah. You guys up for that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I am. Ben. Ben. I mean, we're gonna anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe you just get it good. Day. Trace. That shit sounds good. I didn't love oh. that. We wrote that song the day before, like the last hour of practice. I would suggest we change the part slightly, this initial thing, unless it's really just want to go for some art noise. This initial, uh, maybe change it somewhat. It starts to get very noisy. Okay. Like there's a distance, maybe the E string yeah, going through it's, everything. It's actually just the E string. What are we gonna do? Three
you on a flight. Yeah. So what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> we saw Carson Day. We met Mariah Carey. Oh, oh shit. It was cool. Is that on my face? But he honestly, Carson Daly was cool. I mean, it's didn't cool. you guys think so? I thought he was cool. Jamie told me I thought. I just thought it was, was cool that he remembered it. I thought it was cool at first that he remembered me. And he liked Pusa. Yeah, he said, he's like, dude, I really loved Manic Impression more than Slip. And I was like, really? Because I feel the same way. I like Manic Impression more than Slip. And so it was right there. We were like back, back together again. He was a little chubbier, though. He was a little chubbier than, but yes, I think he looked good. But he was cool. I mean, mainly he was very cool. He didn't have his fingernails painted, but that was a problem. Huh? Yeah. Does he usually have that? They used to have it back in the day. Hi, I'm Walter. <laughs> I have no ears. <laughs> and I put a quarter in my head. Oh, that's, that's nice. Do you think the record's going to be a, a slammer bammer? Oh, certainly. Certainly, okay. Yes. <laughs> These kids got what it takes. I've got a quarter on my head. <laughs> Kevin Glickman. <laughs> He's a hell of a businessman. <laughs> We're about to have emergency surgery in the studio. Um, just a lot of bullshitting. I don't know. It's good though. For my first time playing arcade, I got 334. Damn. It's, that's not first. What time. is arcade? What is it? It's a video game, and you. What is the goal of it? Fruit just is it? Dice the shit out of some fruit. No. Totally attitude. I've lost track. Blanco. <laughs> we, uh, you know, we got to practice the songs a lot, which was helpful because some of them were, were still really new to us. And we, you know, it took us, you know, a bunch of takes to really get familiar with them. And uh, kind of was a little bit out of my comfort zone because I'm not the best guitar player in the world, but it was good and bad. For that reason. Five hours later. On the, uh, the I, think. I think it kind of was a more pure representation of, of what our band's about because, you know, little mistakes here and there or little nuances that kind of might sound a little off to the traditional, you know, studio recording were thrown in there and that kind of, uh, I think that just adds to the, the whole theme of Title Fight presenting ourselves in, in the most straightforward and honest way possible. Day Quattro. Good old con show again. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you were, you had some cool cleans. It was like uh, a cool blend of the two. Yeah. I think so, I just like it just straight. For the the slow part. Wait, what is the card they usually put in like uh? Do they put in like a funny card like that? Yeah, just like a little card with a big red bowl. Yeah. What are those cards called? Like um. Yeah, that's what it does to you. He's Jamie's uh Hello. He's, he's a little different. That's my name on your own. The end sounded cool, yeah. You 
tone's good. Right. My problem is beef, so I can't really understand you. Alright, yeah, let me just run through it again. Yeah, run through it one more time. Oh, I Do you have anything to say about Jamie's recent Morrissey impersonations? Where did Jamie get this vibrato from? Morrissey. That's brand new. Is it? Yeah. He started listening to Morrissey a lot. Let's do another one. End of the song, last time around, to prevent you from having to sing the song so many fucking times. And um, I feel like I kind of sound like a little childish, you know? I don't I like, like your voice. I think you're a really well, nice thank voice. You. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just like a. You're a child, and it's a, a child's <laughs> voice that I love. Well, thanks. No, it's, it's, it's not even that. It's just that, uh, yeah, sometimes I feel like when I sing, sometimes it's like a. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's just, I feel, I feel too plain. It's not even like, like, it's not even that, like, I would mind singing, like, clean if I could make it kind of like, have like a little, not even rasp to it, just like a little bit of like, a different texture to it at like, different times. It's just like, mm -hmm. I just sing it straight. You no, know, it's nice about your voice, actually, is that you have a natural rasp to it anyway, even in your speaking voice. Well, thanks. I don't yeah. know. I think that's just because my texture. voice is a little... <laughs> it's a no, little but in general, I hear you t when you talk, you have a, a, te a, a texture to your speaking voice as well. Well, thanks. You have, like, a merge and uh, a bunch of other... Walt Strapple solo. Yeah. He's the... Well, that's it. Like, hopefully, uh, hopefully it makes the DVD. <laughs> the VHS. <laughs> this shit's expensive, I should probably ta stop it. Oh, what does anyone else think? I mean, sounding good to me. What about the end, though? The uh, very end? Yeah, like, after you did the slowdown, was it all still... I thought it was good, as long as that part's good, honestly. Here again? Oh, uh, just like the outro. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Never mind. I mean, I thought it was cool. Yeah, something to think about. I think this takes really good. I, I think uh, you, you pretty much hit all the spots. The, uh, I still prefer the other take because it's a little more laid back and, and easy going. Um, I think they're both really good. Um, I'd be down to keep doing it, but I think tonight is, it's getting late. The four. It's my John Frusciante imitation. <laughs> J4 was good, it was about vocals, it was about, um, was you know, Shanti? building, yeah, the John Fashante imitation. Yes! Uh, about vocals, backup vocals, um, you kind of got to lay back a little bit in the cut today. You're more of, of the, uh, the drums were still part of it. Um, but I feel like we're kind of there. getting to another part, section so. of the record, you know? Uh, I can sure. see, like, overdubs and, uh, the coloring of the of the record kind of coming closer. What I'm gonna do for the DVD, I'd like to do a uh, version of that. Day five. Hey, look what's going on. Yeah. You got a big thing stuck to your eye. What's that? The hell is that? <laughs> Compared to the live part. I mean, I, it's not very noticeable at all to anyone else, I don't think, but... That's, That's a, a fucking awesome, awesome take. take. Together. Together. <laughs> <laughs> we, we use it 
just doing the demo. I was just excited how it turned out with it. Yeah. They're talking about the click track right now. You can't hear it, but I can. Maybe if we put the mic up to uh, the It doesn't sound like you did the demo to a click. That's Walter, the producer. <laughs> Say again? Uh, <laughs> it sounds like you owned this one on the demo, so uh, I guess if you did it to a click, it just doesn't sound like you did it to a click. Walter doesn't think it sounds like something. Yeah. Ned and Ben, I don't remember the last thing they agreed on. <laughs> I can't think of it. They're pretty different in, uh, in a lot of ways. But I guess they're similar in the ways that they're both really stubborn, you know, which doesn't work for the both of them combined, obviously. I know we know it, but chill out. They're fighting. Did you think that? Do you see that, America? All right, for our, our uh, viewers at home, what we're seeing right now is classic Ben. <laughs> it's classic Ben. Nothing happened. Go down. Shame being, <coughs> shame being a moron usually. That helps relieve a lot of stress. Ben, do you find it hard to keep up with how often Shane switches gears? What? Do you find it hard to keep up with how often Shane switches gears? Like mentally? Like one minute he'll be very silly and then the next minute he'll, he'll look like he wants to spit in your face. Do you find it hard to keep up with that? Yeah, Shane's a very snappy person. <laughs> it seems like Jamie's already caught on to the new song, the new title fight song. Maybe you guys should just track this one this week. Ben is the opposite of Ned in the exuberance. Ben makes you want to take a nap. I think anybody that's ever spent any amount of time around him knows that he sleeps like a uh, like a 19 year old obese cat. I don't know. <laughs> He's got some of the craziest sleeping habits ever. When you shut up. Could you do that, you know, mark the boundaries, uh, so a little bit more song. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to. Yeah, because it sounds, the, the melody of it is just so gorgeous, and, uh, you know, that just kind of kind of pulls me out of it a little bit. All right, gracias. Recording vocals is, uh, the most annoying thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> on the record had to have a, a lot to do with progression from maturity. Um, um, the last two years a lot of happened in all our lives personally as well as you know we listened to a lot of new bands and had a lot of new experiences and stuff so we took all of that and it for me personally I really tried to you know do something that I, I haven't done in the past couple of records and I tried to, a lot has, you know, happened and I tried to address everything and a lot of stuff that was, you know, heavy on my mind so it was just, for me it was definitely just a, a maturity thing. It wasn't, you know, trying to do something to be different, it was just the way that I was feeling at the time. I'll punch you, me. I'll punch you Wicker Man style, just up in a fucking bear suit and knock you out. <laughs>
was good. Dude, what's your favorite Forrest Gump book? Oh, do it. Like a bunch of chocolates. You never know which one you're gonna grab. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good imitation. That stupid is is stupid. <laughs> I was right on. Yeah. But we need a transition in between that. Hmm. We got a few. Um, Did you guys find this the other day? I don't mm. know if we found it. We didn't get to it when you were mm. around. And there's another part at the end of the rec of the song that I'm not sure if I like. Mm -hmm. I like the part, but I don't know if it belongs in the song. <clears throat> um, Could we work on a song that you already know? And is this pretty like much the only one? one left. There's yeah. one song left. This yeah. one in the interlude, which you still have to kind of write and put together. That's if you guys play the song, it's like harder for me to like get it out of context, really. Like you just like sing the song or give them the melody or something? Like you're looking for another, an idea for a part? We were looking for like a transition. We were wondering if, like just going straight into it would be good if you think like. I think that'd be the first thing to try. Just like. That works. And before you run, ding, 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 ding. Like maybe something even smaller as like a transition. I just want to make sure it's not just like, oh, and here's a fast part. Wait, wait. I know it is. I mean, I think it kind of works. It flows. Because the same chord. What are these Thought settings saved for? Oh, man. This is the weirdest part I've ever had. What'd you say? What, like, what did you use these settings that would take to your voice? Uh... Day five. Okay. What happened? We... I don't really know if we recorded the interlude. Day six. Day six. <laughs> Hey, well, I got good What's up, news. Will? What's up, man? Well, I got good news. Brian Cashman is not worried. No worries. No worries. No, no, worries. no worries. Everything's fine, Will. <laughs> Just start letting you know. Everything's cool. Um, no, I think it's, you know, early on when I first joined the band, it was I was kind of stepping into something that's that had already been established, you know, and I didn't really want to. Not only did I not really want to like bother with it because I thought it was fine the way it was, but I also like didn't really. Know what I was doing, and I still don't really. One, but uh, two. Oh, I don't know, throughout the years, I just yeah. kind of got more comfortable with um, got that. expressing, you know, that I, I'd like to use certain guitar parts or or lyrics. <laughs> Maybe one of these times try doing street like the at the low the low note. So be like market straight. Awesome. A lot of sweetness there. That was beautiful. I like that. That was all good. I don't know. I, I, sorry. The low, I think the lower, the lower street sounds cool, but if you're not into it, I, I don't understand. I, I like that. Yeah, it was good. Well, I just, I think I held it a little bit long, to be honest. So yep. do it again, but do it uh, less. You know, make some variation on it. But the spirit's there, and, and you're getting great lines. All right. I, I want to do something of, interesting. I thought the rest of that was good. Yeah, yeah I think it's I all know, pretty cool. That, that line. That's, like that's, the that's video pretty interesting. That? interesting. Make you guys sound more like um, you're on a team. Okay. 
and uh, and as it goes by, you'll probably get more familiar with the performance, and you know, either dig it more or understand parts of it that you think are need, need help. But I, I want to applaud you for your fine work. I really liked uh, I liked your take. Thank you. Uh, you got it. Just the notes are different. You, it's not home will live. It's home will live. Or it's, it's different. The notes are home will live. That's what it is. Uh, stupid, no, but, uh, a little too much, maybe. Yeah, that was kind of cheesy. Oh, come on. I mean, I don't know if that was weird. Uh, You're I don't know. cheesy, stupid. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Jamie, what? give me a close-up. Look at my mustache. That's what you're looking at, I can tell. Mm -hmm. Dude, who made my food? I might. Uh, okay. I'm wearing the, the long johns again. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sweating. <laughs> no, it's, it's almost, it's like kind of scary. I got long johns on. Wait, I might have to pull my pants down. Jeez. You're That's filming me because like, you hit my food or something. No, I don't rip it. That's not rip it's just... Just filming the studio, Jamie. Yeah. Then don't film me. Yeah, it's right. Oh, dude, come on. Do not eat, Will. Ha 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 ha! I don't think... Back in the age, drunk noodles every day, and then he started, like, talking about the spicy level, and he just started eating it every day, and then he started farting, and then I started to think associate drunk noodles with him farting and eating them all the time, and I was like, I don't want to eat those things anymore. What are you eating? Um... Noodles and junk food. Let's see how this riff went. This is a oh, dude. dude, I definitely didn't fart over here. He, he fart up with you. What fill could I do at the end there that would sound cool? <laughs> Maybe there's nothing, only this moment. Maybe there's nothing, only this moment. Maybe you scream the last line. Yeah. Uh, that's a. I'm gonna really, really pass out. I don't know what what tone it'd be. Only this moment. Yeah. Or. Yeah. I think that's a nice note. Alright. Should we practice one more time? Sure. Yeah. Maybe there's nothing. Only this moment. Maybe there's nothing. Only this moment. Maybe. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, you're halfway through a very long drive. You wake up and Ned's driving. What's, what are you most likely to hear? Uh, <laughs> besides teenager in a box. Probably some like shit that I don't like. He's the kind of guy who can get you excited about things. I think he's a, he's, he's he has a he has a way of making you feel exuberant, I guess is the, the right way to put it. Maybe there's nothing, only this moment. Maybe there's <laughs> only this moment. Maybe there's nothing. <laughs> what did he say? Okay, that worked perfectly. He said. Oh, did you hear that? Shh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Only this moment! We could get mallets for like a dollar at GC. Carson Daly wasn't at the Thai restaurant the other day. We just made up that story. And, but I wasn't the only one. It was Will. And Shane was also there. And, uh... Jamie was there too, so it was really just the blame is spread thin, but we don't need to really talk about that. Yeah. yeah. The subject is closed. What you're speaking of. We're not going to talk about it. But it's not important. It involves me. <laughs>
People from the Wilkes-Barre slash Kingston area probably recognize um, little things, titles, clues, hints in your songs. Uh, kind of a nod to our roots. Shane kind of wrote a song about, you know, people not leaving the valley and stuff that uh, Ned sang. It's, I mean, it's kind of relatable to everybody, though. You know, just not being able to leave your hometown. I'll be able to get out, which uh, we're pretty fortunate that we get to travel around and see the world. Yeah, the vibe is great. Just conscience the, the notes a little below the pitch. As soon as you said you wanted to do it, you did it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, but I did it. Super, super high. I, I would almost rather hear hear you singing an octave lower, or put it in some other place, or just keep keep going for it. But play it back. All right, uh, let me try out the octave lower, just okay. for a second. It's gonna be low, not low. It's gonna be like, done. it's not low, but we we'll just see how it goes. You know, maybe you could find a different. <laughs> Yeah, you're in. We're we're uh, the low one's gonna sound too low. Yeah, 
Hey, Basil dude. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Where'd you get that thing, huh, Basil? Don't worry about it. Watch, you gotta say it. <laughs> if it follows you, tell no, me. No, it doesn't. I think it's alright, man. It's yeah, got two. It's got two. <laughs> I wish you went retirement home. That puts your fucking hands shot. in the air! I do. How do you put your fucking hands in the fucking air? I just want to show you. See that shit? That's incredible. 1,090 half of zero. what you want to do for that part. But you're going to get hurt. No, this one's not. harder. Ah, oh, you did it. That was great. Dude, <laughs> yeah, but did you crack? Which ones did you crack? Did you crack, like, <laughs> this one? Did try to try it No, man, it <laughs> hurts. Dude, you're such a baby. Relax. You're not a baby. Good. This does not feel good. You relax. Relax. Stop, just relax. So Stop being so tense. I'm not. See, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to throw up. Why are you <laughs> What's going on here? Play it. Play the... Play the last take of uh, not the not the, this one, but the one before the last one, and tell me what this sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, I've never filmed anything, so. I like when you go up, but I don't know. Let me do that. The part that I have that I was bothering me is the E, which I think you may have fixed, but I'm not sure. What do you mean? You look like a juggalo. late or early in the morning, three or, three or four, and Jamie was driving, and uh, we all fell asleep, and when we woke up, we had somehow traveled like four hours worth of time, but only 30 minutes worth of distance. <laughs> we weren't really sure what happened. Do you have an explanation for what might have happened, Shane? I know you're a big fan of conspiracy theories, so... Um. I mean, we were sleeping, so there's there's a lot of you know possibilities for what Jamie could have been doing. Maybe he was just driving really slow, or maybe you know he was driving past the city in the middle of nowhere and, and looked off the highway into a cul-de-sac and saw a lady having a heart attack <laughs> and uh, turned around and helped her or something. I don't know, maybe. <laughs>
could hang out with Steve I. You, he'd probably give give you your own. He'd Dude. probably give you one of his fans and sunglasses. And you could hang out with him, and he would just be like, "I totally respect the shit out of you." Jamie. See, I just I picked knife throwing just because. Like your regular guitar playing is okay, but your hammer on playing is just blows me a fucking way. And it, I think that if we, we left Jamie alone, he would be lost in the world somewhere. Not like I'm like trying to be all emotional and weird. And I, I just don't. There's no light switch. I don't know how to turn on the light. So you have night vision. melodies and tones with Jamie. How'd it go? Uh, Got a lot of good melodies. I'll tell you tomorrow. Tell <laughs> the lyrics. Title fight to get their interview when I get my jumper cables back. Peace. You want to make one more Jamie joke? Let's think of a good Jamie situation that we can make fun of. I just want to talk about how he's really easy to pick on. That's pretty good. No, that's not what Shane said. That's what he's saying. He's unhappy again. I'll say this, that Andy told me that you were the toughest to get along with, and he was really shocked that you and I seemed to hit it off really quickly because, because he was like, man, Shane's like, toughest to get through to, he's like really picky. Is Shane blowing you in there? Oh. <laughs> I was too busy watching Shane do stuff. And Ben's filming now, so it's like a big party. It sounds so dirty. What? Keep it out, dude! <laughs> Shane hit me with a drumstick in the PP. Shane picks on me.
Two take Julio. <laughs> okay, how do you feel about Ned? <laughs> Ned is a good singer. He's a good bass player. What about him as a person? Um, Ned as a person, he's a good driver. <laughs> Ben's a good guy. He he has the appetite of a five-year-old. You're great. Shane's great. Shane's a good guy. He's got good style. Um, he's 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 pretty good at baseball. Um, he's in the art, I guess. So, the last two title fight releases have had some pretty distinctive artwork. If you want to tell us about John Slaby. Uh, John Slaby, I, I forget, you know, the moment that I met him, but uh, when I was younger, I, I always knew who he was because he was, like, uh, big into the skateboarding, and uh, that was a, an interest of mine. And also, he did, he was, like, one of the first people that did graffiti that I sort of started to notice, you know, around where we live. Just kind of a, out of an ordinary thing since we live in a you know, pretty suburban community. But I always thought it was really cool and I, somehow I, I knew he did it, that he was the one that, that did the graffiti. And uh, I don't know, I just was always kept tra track of like his art and stuff like that and I always liked it. And throughout the years he's gotten you know, really, really good at it. Throughout the years, we uh, we just became closer, and now we're friends. Well, well the grass is just tedious. Yeah. Um, you know, I do it in layers. And... Yeah, he's a good, a good artist, and he comes from the same background as we do. We share a lot of the same interests, and I think we sort of have the same uh, attitude towards a, a lot of things. Except, you know, he does things more visually, and we do things you know, musically. But uh, yeah, we definitely share the same. A lot of the same ideas, and uh, that's why I think it, it's important and cool for us to have the opportunity to have him do do stuff, do some album artwork for us because it's uh, it's very northeast Pennsylvania kind of you know it's a visual record representation of the, of the music. I'd like to think. Day day twelve. Let's try that. I don't know. time on guitar, it's not like, we already did all that. I don't have any problem with it, I'm just saying like this is your opportunity to add something. Honestly, I think it sounds good. Because okay. I was very nitpicky. Yeah. Oh, I think it sounds great. All, you, all yeah. everything that you did on this is absolutely great. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I thought it was very thorough. You yeah. had the thought of full for this.
back. Early. I'll be back soon. Oh, we gotta do interviews. Dude. Oh, interviews. Oh, Jamie. I already interviewed Jamie. Oh, did you really? When we were supposed right. to be writing lyrics and Walter busted us. <laughs> Perfect. All right, here it comes. That's what she said. I see you I was oh, oh, oh. That, that forgot. No, I just don't know what I... I'd love to do a part of this. We use a, well, Walter used a kibasa during the song he sings on called uh, Safe in Your Skin, which is like a little interlude we did, and uh, that was kind of weird. I like the thing, but, huh? I like the, you like that? Yeah. I think it ruins it, should, it. No, I think it should be like, I can't hear him. I think it should be uh, more frequently, but maybe on a separate track. It's hard for me to do it and sing without messing it up. I like to think that the record's a coming of age record. And, uh, you know, it's not all so cohesive and not all one big, you know, concept or anything, but it's all kind of stuff relating to the same kind of topic about, you know, growing up and kind of dealing with these things as they come. And source, you know, it's, it's multiple bands and places and things, you know, that are inspiring the music we make. And I think that it comes across well in like the, the variety of the record. So I think that's cool. And uh I think it's uh I think that's sort of a good attitude to to have to look towards the futures. Just so you know. I don't think we've ever painted ourselves into a corner. I think we've all we've always left some room to kinda go any direction that we want to. So for next record, you know, sounds really weird and slow and sad, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised, but if it also sounds like like you today, I wouldn't be surprised either. So I think that's a good dynamic to have is you kind of keep our options open and don't get stuck. Well, we done? We're fucking done, man. That's it. That's for it. now. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay, about this. The American. Damn, fuck! I'll come over with the drums. Okay. Should I come in, fuck it? Yeah, I think, yeah. Start trucking.
he seemed at first to be very scared. <laughs> so what he had to do is put a uh, a wad of chocolate in his mouth. And for, then for the taste, he yeah, said. Yeah, for the, so, you know, so he could balance it out. And then after he, he said it wasn't that bad, so. All right, anything else we think we should add? Any last words? No. Okay. Good job.